Well, hello and uh, and welcome to 2021 in the shed. Uh, it's still a shed at the moment. I don't I don't see it as a studio yet. I see it as a shed, but it's a it's a studio in making. So where are we? It's been a great year. Um, we have had the worst weather ever this year. We've had snow. We've had torrential rain. We've had uh, well, we've had bits of the ceiling blown off the sorry the the roof of the house blown off uh with the with the gusty winds we've been having uh to start a project like this um wasn't the best time to do it because space outside is at a premium uh you need space to put big boards and cut big boards and and do bits and bobs right um well, i used to call myself the man that don't do diy who does diy well do you know it's been a year i'm gonna list all the youtube videos uh that i've used to um help me uh build this studio there's a there's a there's, there's not a lot but that the ones i use are good quality so um what i will do what i will do is list them and um and then you can see where I've got this skill from. I I now I tell you what, where before if I had to cut a piece of wood, I'd be looking for a a power tool. What power tool do I need to do this? Um, but now I just just cut it by hand. Get myself my saw, my 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 lovely saw, and I cut it by hand. It's it's simple. It's it's and and I've learned to to slow down, slow down a little bit when I'm cutting. Just take it slow. Make sure. Uh, I can see the line that I'm meant to be cutting it from. Measure it two or three times, then cut it. I know all this is what people say all the time, but um, do you know it does work. I have I have to say the way I look at the way I look at a project now is totally different to how I did I did a year ago. It's been a very good year learning, and I have to take my hat off to all the content providers on YouTube who uh, day in, day out, put tips, advice, tools, show us how this works. If, if you pull out a tool and you want to know how it works, um, go on YouTube. R routers, routers, all I can tell you is they're like your best friend in the world, routers. Um, they're very, very good routers. Oh, I had some fun with some routers. I've got more router blades now than I think I've got knife and forks um it's very true uh so so anyway that's uh, it's been a great year we've we've got some stuff going i'm in the small studio at the moment behind me you can see a, a sound booth that's gone in let's just see if you can see a difference uh in the in the voice hello one two one two three four i know i'm sort of calling in here but this is what you would do you would you'll stand here uh and you would talk into the booth uh, into a microphone if you're doing your voiceovers and uh, then we should get a nice clean voice. I don't know if you can hear the difference in sound. I'm not sure if the phone uh, will pick it up. So if it's picked it up, brilliant. If it hasn't, <sighs> I, I don't know. I'll turn it into a, a, a coat stand. I'm not sure. Um, I've got I've got outside. I have the, the table being built, that there. This here is where the monitors are going to be on. The mix is actually going to, is in a hole in the desk over there. Uh, we've gone with the web station, the DNR web station. Uh, I also have an Airmate as well. I, I, I don't know, I decided to get two. Um, I wasn't sure which one I was going to go with. And looking upon the videos, there's not really a great deal of videos out there about, um, about those mixes. Um, when I when I bring the desk finally, the desk I've just got to put the electrics in the desk. Um, that wall thing you see there, that wall you see there, don't look like that around the other side. Around the other side, it looks a right mess. If you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Medway Sound UK, you will see some still photographs of. Uh, <laughs> I'd like some photographs, please. Still photographs. Well, I've not changed my mind. Um, I know, it works with orange if you go McDonald's. Orange, please. Still orange. I haven't changed my mind. Do it. It's really good. They all laugh so much. John, come out here. Listen to this, honestly. Um, they, they, they like it, especially me. I'm coming from Kent. Um, they, they all know I come from Kent. I hear them whispering it under their voices. I walk past. I hear Kent. I hear it. I hear it. Uh, so, 
Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, oh, down here, that's the DSP rack, that black thing there, still in the midst of being sprayed. That's the DSP rack. All the electrics in. Look, I've got electric. All the electrics in. It's signed off. It's uh, it's legal. We have uh, we have an electrician who's come in to check everything out. So uh, every plug socket I put in, every light I put in, you can't see them, but there's LEDs all over the gaff. Uh, there's LEDs going around the inside of the door as well. When the mic goes up, everything, uh, all the LEDs will turn red to let everybody know um, that the mic's live. Um, it is important. Uh, I know uh, some people might not realise it, but it is important. It's also part of studio etiquette to um, keep uh, keep quiet when when things go red um, but that's enough about that I will make videos of me installing the software um, install and how everything gets wired up that's where it will get interesting for you radio people now uh, I'm not sure if you're aware I'm also a radio ham radio ham um, which means uh, uh, what that actually means you might not know what that means so I'll, I'll, I will elaborate on what it means um, I like to talk on the radio, you probably know that, I like to talk on the radio, but we do like a two-way communications radio, um, which is uh, from, from people all over the world, different radio hams all over the world, all share a hobby, we like to uh, study, create, um, we, uh, we experiment and we sort of bring uh, radio to the forefront. I can remember back in 1989 when we first started writing out HTML as a language uh, broadcasting packets of information across from one computer to another computer via radio waves before the internet let me tell you those were the days anyway i'm a radio ham so i will be sticking up some stuff about my journey back into radio hamship i've uh, i've got all my radios out of storage i've blown them off and uh, cleaned them up a little bit and i will be sticking them inside the other end over there, uh, so it'll be a bit of a radio sh ham shack. And anyone who's interested in uh, radio ham can come down and, uh, sorry, not radio ham, anyone interested in amateur radio can come down and uh, have a look at the radios and, you know, we can uh, we, we, we can help you if you're looking to get your license or, or anything like that, you can do that. Also, um, oh, what else is there? We're gonna be offering training. We're gonna be offering training here in the studio. Uh, if you're local, uh, or you might be far away, I don't know, uh, but whatever. Um, if, if, if you fancy some training, um, we can do it either here at the studio or we could do it by Zoom. Um, if you're a presenter already and you'd like some ideas, you would like, uh, uh, <laughs> you would like some tips and tricks which have been accumulated over 30 years in and around radio if that's you if you're that person um you can uh, i don't mind giving you a quick chat on zoom uh, there's no charge i'm not charging for it uh, it's just that I, I don't mind doing that i'm quite happy to do that um and who knows if you're if you think you're stuck in a rut uh, and you just need something fresh um to 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 help help you along your way i do it quite often i converse with um, many people because you, you have to stay fresh. If you don't stay fresh, if you don't keep your content fresh, uh, people will get bored and they will move on, okay? So it's very important if you're doing your radio show, you keep your content fresh. Just think where you wanna go, what you wanna be, what your show is about, and more important than anything, what your identity is. Please don't call it your brand, okay? It's not a brand. It's your identity. It's how people see you. OK. And remember, your social media, very important. What you put out there is what people will see and remember you as. OK, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, if you have some really strong beliefs on things, maybe uh, social media isn't the place for that. Where else am I as far as this is concerned? So the studio desk, that's my next project. That, well, that's nearly finished actually. Like I say, the electrics and the audio visual uh, has got to go into that. Um, I have a great guy by the name of Lee James. He's a sound engineer and uh, just, just recently got into broadcasting as well. Um, and uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use his knowledge to uh, make sure that we get the best possible, um, best possible, tuning of our system so it sounds right for you now if you have any questions pop them in the comments if there's anything you want to know 
pop them in the comments. If you're thinking of wiring up a studio, if you if you if you if you've come to my station, my station, if you come to my YouTube page, sorry, uh, looking for information about internet radio, you want to know how to get on. What's a stream? How does shoutcast work? What C panel? Um, how do how do I work out a playlist? What's what's a what's a rotation clock? How does it all work? Sam Broadcaster, I've seen that. Does it work? How does it work? I don't know. What what can I do? Then come and give me a call. Just leave me a message. I'll get back to you. I'm not going to charge you. Uh, you might have Play Out One. You've started Play Out One. Up. We're going to have full systems Play Out One here. Although I say that, I'm going to be honest. Uh, in the interest of transparency, um, I am that far from going Play Out One, Myriad Five. Play Out One, Myriad Five. Which one I'm going on? I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll, uh, well, we'll see what's on the screen when the studio lights up. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, anything you want to know, if you've come to this page because you're looking for information and you think, what a load of rubbish, there's no information here for me, it's just some idiot cutting wood. <laughs> you know, I'm good with that. I don't mind, I can live with that. But please, use what I know. I have a very vast resource list of information and ways where you can do things, get things and use things to your best ability to bring great content for your radio show. And you know, it's up to you. It's up to you to utilize that, okay? Uh, I can only pass it on. And if that sort of interests you, leave me a message. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna post a comment, uh, please do me a favor. Two things I need you to do. Um, this is a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna need you to uh, subscribe that'll be great I'd love to have you as, uh, on my subscribe list and number two um, I need you to click the notifications bell and, I, I, and a thumbs up will be great as well okay uh, so if you're interested to watch me flick a switch and everything blow up this is the place to be it could very well happen I will film the very first flicking of the switch and if it all goes wrong you will see it I won't hide it because and you will also see how my thought process is to set the software up and the digital mixer as well as the backup analog mixer at the same time. You will see how I incorporate with the mix station, the sound booth outside there and of course outside there where we're going to have a couple of tables in the summertime where people can come and have a coffee, sit outside, little couple of speakers, station playing out there and, and get the community involved with the station. It's Medway Sound. It's what we're doing. We are bringing radio back to the listener. Um, it's got too commercial. It's run by too many people who think they're superstars. Everyone thinks they're superstars now. They think they do a radio show. They're the most famous person in the world. I had someone tell me they're waiting for a national to call them. They got word that a national was going to call them. Of course they are. <laughs> I think he's still waiting for that national to call. Listen, it's, it's, the important thing is, okay, the important thing is what you do. What you do. See that? I'm getting very close. What you do is what's important, okay? And if you do have lots of listeners, it's because people like what you do. And if they like what you do, keep doing it. And if you do find yourself with lots of listeners, tell me how you do it. Because I'd love lots of listeners. That was a sort of joke. I don't know if that was a double-ended joke. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in the video. Do you know what? I will keep it in the video. Do you want to know why? Yes, because, because yes, I believe in the honesty and transparency. And number two, I'm not sure how to edit it out yet because I'm new to this video thing as well. Right, that's that. Uh, what can I tell you? Adam Savage, I salute you, sir. Um, well done to you. Um, Big Clive, I salute you, sir. The Drone Workshop, I salute you, sir. Docking Bay 51, I salute you, sir. All these people I salute, go and check out their pages. Docking Bay 51 is my brother Michael. Uh, likes to be called Mickey. He's a bit tricky. He knows, he knows what I mean. Uh, go and have a look what he does. He's, he's got a very interesting page. He's got about eight times more <laughs> subscribers than I do. So what he's doing is working. Ask him what he's doing. Ask him some advice. Guess what? I know my brother. He'd spend hours telling you everything you need to know because he's part of the same bloodline. Listen, I'm Marty D. Donovan. I am the broadcast ninja. Do not be misled. There's no kung fu. I am not a ninja, okay? I just needed to stick a name together that no one else has on YouTube. So I stuck a load of words in a, in a, in a bucket, swirled them around, pulled two out, and here I am, 
the Broadcast Ninja. Now, you might think, do you know what? Not a bad name, Marty. Sounds quite good. It's drawn, a, it's drew a few kung fu fans to you, um, but it could have been worse. I, 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 I could have been known as the Snoddle and Nut Cruncher. That would have been nice, would it? Or the um, the, the South Kent um, Muscle Muncher. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, listen, have yourself a great day. I am Marty D. Donovan, and leave me a comment, anything I can help you with, that's why I'm here. And all this, all this, you could do the same. Catch you soon. Bye for now. I'm going to press a button over here now, because I don't know how to just say bye-bye, then edit it out. I'm not sure. Right, so I'll catch you later. I'm still here. I was just joking. Bye-bye.